many of you have written in and asked us whether there's a simple way of playing what you've got on your tablet on your desktop. And of course, for those of you that own an ASUS transformer, the answer is yes. Thanks to ASUS MyNet. Ooh, so what is this then? ASUS MyNet is an application for your ASUS transformer. And what this is, is a UPnP... Hang on, what does that mean? It's a little bit complex because there are multiple things that it can do that you might have heard DLNA bandied around as well. Really, you don't need to worry too much about what it's doing because MyNet does all of this stuff for you that you don't so need to know too much. So it's just another one of those crazy acronyms that you just sort of ignore. You need to know if you have any UPnP enabled clients. Do I have any of those then? More than likely, yes, and yeah. you probably weren't aware of it. Your Xbox, for instance, will work as a UPnP client. Okay. So will a PlayStation 3, some top-end DVD players and Blu-ray players. Some TVs have it built in, but very rarely. Um, but of course, you can also buy uh, a UPnP client as a separate device, and they're becoming quite cheap now, around the £50 mark. Give me a dummy's guide how to set, how to set this up. Well, I think for that, the best thing to do would be to go to, to the, the lab. lab. So you just go into the menu of this device, basically. Inside MyNet, yeah. it will automatically, this is the great thing about this, it will automatically show you a list of every UPnP enabled device on your network. We are in the MyNet application, we've loaded our video and we go play, and instantaneously it will start playing um, on full screen. So it's essentially streaming. That's why it's instant. You haven't got to copy the file and take it over there. You're not using up any storage space on the device either because with a stream, obviously, it discards it as it comes through. And what about like photos or music? Photos, music, and your video. So that's really cool. So say I'm out and I download like an album on my transformer yep. and then I want to play it on my really good sound system. That's exactly what you do. I mean, if you're having a party, you've got your lovely surround sound set yeah. up and you want to entertain everyone, they're not going to be wanting to be listening to it on a set of headphones. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you'll be able to stream it straight to your speakers. And what about the other way around then? Say I'm sitting in my bed and <clears throat> I want to watch something that's on my desktop. Can I get it to stream? It's not quite as simple. I mean, the, the, the beauty of Minet is that it, it does all that for you and it does it really easily. It, it will literally scan your device, set it up as a server, and you can just play it. Uh, doing it the other way from your desktop, you do need to configure your desktop. Windows Media Player has a built-in function for mm -hmm. this, a server like Twonky. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I just think that you make things up, because that, <laughs> is just that to, real? Just to see if you're Just, just to test yeah. them, like, oh, right, hey, yeah, Twonky. Um, no, Twonky is Tell real. Tell all my friends. Twonky is oh, an open source uh, UPnP server, and it is a very good one. Okay. And it, it's, it's great because it's available on Mac, Windows, and Linux. Okay. So it's worth having a look at. It does a similar thing. It'll scan your computer, and then from your tablet, you will be able to browse your machine. It'll come up and you'll see, you know, Spode's desktop, click the icon, and I'll, I'll see all the video content I have, and I can stream it directly to my transformer. So does the desktop have to be on? Unfortunately, yes. Um, okay. Although I know that a lot of uh, NAS boxes, you know what NAS is? Mm -mm. No, a NAS is a network attached storage, and that, it's basically a big box with, giant, with hard drives in it. Okay. And they're getting quite popular in households. A lot of those will act as UPnP servers as well, and they won't even need configuring. So basic, they won't need config. They and, won't need configuring. So you basically sort of have you your tablet on. and you'd have that. And yeah, and they're the sort of thing that if you have a NAS box for like backup and stuff, you would tend to leave that on all the time anyway. And, and it's going to use less power than your desktop. Do I need to be close to the device, like, or can I be down as long the as you're as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network? Okay, it's yeah. Work. So there you go, that's your question answered. Thank you very much, Spode. I definitely feel very well informed and I hope you guys do too. So if you've got any other questions in the future, you can just write on our YouTube comment box. And of course, we have our lovely forum over at Tech in Style where you can get really involved in the community and if we're not around to answer your question, there certainly will be someone else. And for any future episodes, just subscribe on YouTube or iTunes. But for now, this is us and we will see you soon. And for any future episodes, just a sub. See you soon.